back up to Tennessee a couple of days here. Um, just take me through the visit. What was it like? You know, I got here yesterday. It's been a good uh, full, like, 36 hours, so it's been a lot of fun. Got to eat lunch last night in Neyland. That was great. And you should know, every time I come back, you know, something else surprises me. So I'm excited to be back and, uh, you know, looking forward to a good season. What was that surprise this time? We've been here a pretty good bit. So what stood out this time that you, you know, hadn't seen before? I uh, really good, got to go deep into the, their uh, quarterback development. Uh, got to watch film on it and obviously have the workout today where I could really put that stuff to use. So it was good to see how they developed quarterbacks from the, from the ground up. Uh, Take me through the workout today. I mean, you know, got a pretty good bit of time with Coach Halsley, Coach Mitch, Coach Hop. You know, what was it like? Yeah, it was a lot of good, it was a lot of fun. Uh, shout out Mitch for having good hands. You know, <laughs> he just told me to give him a shout out. So, you know, it was good just you know getting that uh, time where it's, you know it's not everybody's around. It's just us and just being able to rip it. So, what, what do you take away from those guys, coaches, that you know had that opportunity to to go through this with them? Yeah, their attention to detail is really good. You know, you can throw a good ball, and they can still find something wrong with you. They could throw an even better ball. So, you know, I respect that about them. How much, how much time they put into, you know, developing how to be a good teacher at it, and then putting that to work. So, what, what kind of stands out about them and the way that they recruit you? Um, you know, your priority for them in 2025. Are you feeling that? Yes, I would say I would. Yes, sir, I am. Uh, you know, being an in-state kid, you know, it's it's easy to see that Tennessee's, you know, on the way back up. So, yes, sir. You know, coming out here today, you know, what do you what do you learn that you can take back to you know, Brent Wood and apply next season? Uh, just little details with him throwing. Uh, you know, Coach Halsley. Uh, you know, we worked on not getting toesy in our drop. You know, staying all, all cleats in the ground. So you know, I'll definitely be bringing back that back to you know my workouts in Nashville, and hopefully during the season as well. You, you've been to several schools here since we saw you last. I mean, what are those trips been like, and who's maybe standing out early to you right now? You know, they're all great. I would say, you know, all my summer visits to the five schools I chose, you know, I chose them for a reason. And, uh, you know, those are the schools I want recruiting me, and I feel like they've all done a really good job. Uh, you know, started off at Clemson. That was great. Coach Dabo has got a true family feel. Um, LSU, same way. You know, they, the way they're developing guys and recruiting has been really well. FIU, you know, it's my family school. Uh, always going to be pulling for them. You know, they're building something special down there for sure. And then getting back to Tennessee today, um, you know, I think it's just – it's very, very important to see a lot of different places and see what they have to offer. When you talk about those are the five schools that you want to recruit you, what are you looking for in a school at the end of the day? Uh, I would say winning culture. I think winning helps a lot, you know, within everything in the locker room, you know, <laughs> winning can solve a lot. So winning culture for sure, you know, do they care about you as a person? Do they, will they develop you off on the field and off the field? And, you know, would I go to school there if I didn't play sports? What's the timeline like for you? Do you have one? I mean, you're just kind of still working through this thing as you go? I mean. I wouldn't say like pretty advanced into the process. Yeah, I wouldn't say I have a timeline. I just I feel like when I know, I'll know. And uh, you know, once I know, I don't think I'll take too much time to to you know keep waiting around. You heard it here from twenty twenty five four star quarterback George McIntyre. George, thanks. Yes, sir, appreciate. You.